Kevin Langley is 30 years old and over the course of a couple of weeks has lost about 10 pounds, even though he has been hungry and eating more than normal. I was thirsty. Okay. I'm drinking like a case of these a day, and i got to keep them by my bed. i I got to get up every couple hours at night and pee. Um, my stomach, it just, it, it really hurts. Okay. Okay, Mr. Langley, I'm going to go and talk to your doctor, and I'm going to have him come in and see you right away. Betty Sanborn, aged 55, has an appointment to see a nurse practitioner. She is just coming in for a routine checkup and appointment for mammography. Well, your blood pressure is 174 over 96. It's quite a bit higher than it was last year. Well, high blood pressure kind of runs in my family. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling in general? Do you have any problems? Are you changing the way you feel? Actually, I've come to think of it. I've been a little tired lately. Not as pimpy as I used to be. I've got an infection in my leg here, and it won't go away. Okay. And my eyeglasses just... My eyesight is changing. My eyeglasses don't seem to help. Some days they do, and some days they don't. Well, Miss Sunder, I would like to do a blood test to check for your blood sugar today, okay? Both Kevin Langley and Betty Sanborn have been diagnosed as having diabetes mellitus, a common disease affecting 6% of the U.S. population. Mr. Langley has type 1 diabetes mellitus, and Mrs. Sanborn has type 2. The American Diabetes Association criteria for a diagnosis of either type 1 or type 2 diabetes may be any of the following. First, a fasting plasma glucose at or above 126 milligrams per deciliter after no caloric intake for at least eight hours. Second, a fasting plasma glucose at or above 200 milligrams per deciliter at any time of the day without regard to the time since the last meal and symptoms of diabetes. And third, a plasma glucose at or above 200 milligrams per deciliter at the two-hour mark during an oral glucose tolerance test. Each of these tests